What is up guys, it's Arne and welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at how you can use custom made depth mats to subtly animate your photos. To add this moment. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this time we are going to start in Photoshop. I already opened up the picture I want to work on today. It's a portrait of my buddy Aima, great artist and hopefully soon fellow YouTuber. Yes, you should finally do it, mate. So basically what we need to do is creating a depth mat, which tells After Effects which parts of the image are closer and which are further away from the camera. The only thing you need to know about these depth mats is that the brighter the color, the closer the object or the part of the image will be to the camera. The way we create this depth mat is by creating a new layer on top of the image and make it all black. By the way, I'm sorry that this is all in German, for some reason I can't install the English version of Photoshop. But luckily we don't need a lot of tools here. As you can see, we can't see anything, so let's drop the opacity of this layer. Take a harsh brush and choose white as your foreground color. Before you do anything, drop the opacity of your brush to something around 10 to 15%. That way we can add multiple layers on top of each other. Simply paint over the areas you want to highlight from the background. Remember to not let go of your mouse button, as multiple instances of your brush stroke will result in brighter colors. When you have finished the first layer, think about which other parts you want to be interpreted as closer to the camera. And repeat that whole process. So in this case, I will be highlighting his face, obviously his arm and the hand with the camera. Also within his face, things like nose and eyebrows are obviously closer. So I highlight these with another layer as well. And you simply repeat this whole process until you're happy with the layering. And you can even add some more depth by switching the brush color to black and paint over something like the eyes as they are naturally further back as well. Okay, once you're finally done, set the opacity of the layer back to 100 and you will have something like this beautiful portrait drawing. I mean, this, this is art right there. Next up, add some blur to this layer to get rid of these harsh edges. Something around 30 to 50 should do the trick. Now save the file. The different levels of brightness will work as a differentiation for After Effects to work its magic. So let's head over to After Effects and import the Photoshop file. Don't forget to import as composition and retain layer sizes and hit import. You will get one new composition and a folder with the different layers inside. Open up the composition, rename the matte layer to be able to find it later on. And actually you can hide it, as we don't need to see it for this to work. Now highlight the background layer and search for the effect displacement map. As you can see, nothing is happening so far. In the effect settings for displacement map, choose the depth mat. Change the horizontal and vertical offset both to luminance. Now you can simply play around with the offset values. This time we're going with something around 50 or negative 50. This might be a tiny bit too much in your case, but at least you can probably see what it does. Set keyframes at the beginning and the end of your clip and basically you're done. As you can see, the defined parts of the image react differently to the settings. And that's all the magic behind it. To add more interest, we can simply zoom in slightly by creating a null object. Turn both layers to it and scale up just a tiny bit. And there you have it. it wasn't too hard, was it? Any questions? Drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already for a new video every Tuesday. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers! Thank you.